from Studio 113 in Walson Hall. This is MBC News. Hi, welcome to this week's of MBC. My name is Amanda Wong. And I'm DJ Carey. So Amanda, we're about three weeks into the semester. Uh, how's it going so far? Not too bad. You know, the workload's starting to build up week after week, but you know, I'm handling it pretty well. How about you? Not going to lie, I haven't really picked up too many books in the past couple weeks. <laughs> Senioritis is setting in pretty hard, but uh, you want to tell me some things I can do this week besides doing my homework? Of course. Starting on Friday, the Career Center will be open to provide quick question hours where any student who is looking for a critique on their resume and cover letter that will take 10 minutes or less to answer from 10.30 to 2 in the afternoon. First comes first served in the Career Center Resource Library located in Trexler Library. Hellos opens their red doors to anyone who would like to join them for Shabbat services and dinner starting at 5 to 7.30 p.m. If you're interested in aggressive sports and intense action, Friday night, Muhlenberg will be offering a free shuttle to support the Muhlenberg's ice hockey team's match against Penn College at the rink at Lehigh Valley. The bus will depart from the archway behind Trumbauer at 7 p.m. and at 8 p.m. The puck will drop at 7.45 and the shuttle will depart at the second period and the conclusion of the match. However, if you're looking to stay indoors and relax around campus, join Muses, the Muhlenberg Art Literary Magazine, for a coffee house and open mic event where students can step on up and read their poetry, prose, and perform music. This event will be hosted in the upper lobby of Seegers Union starting at 7 and ending at 9. Throughout Saturday afternoons starting at 12, the Martin Art Gallery proudly presents Faculty at Work, a showcase of the diverse technical skills, creativity, and talent of 11 artists who comprise the Department of Studio Art at Muhlenberg. This event is open to the public with free admission. Doors close at 8 and will not be open again until Tuesday. If students join the campus community for Roman Catholic Mass, please note due to ongoing renovations in the chapel, the gathering will be held at Hillel House. Mass will be held from 4 to 5. All are welcome. Sunday night, Hillel House is offering any student to come and enjoy their Super Bowl party starting at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Come support the Giants or the Patriots with your fellow students. On Monday at Seegers Union 108 to 110, Victoria Davis, a 2009 graduate of Muhlenberg College, who is now a market research coordinator for the Oxford University Press, will be on campus to speak with interested students about the Publishing Institute and job opportunities in the industry. Sign up in your Career Connections account. This event will be starting at 9, 5 p.m. and will conclude at 6. Lastly, on Wednesday, relax and enjoy practicing yoga with Kevin starting at 6 o'clock in Hello. Well, that's all I have for the news. Here's DJ with sports. Thanks, Amanda. The seasons of both the men and women's basketball teams began with quite a bang as the two squads jumped out to their hottest starts in school history. However, as winter break came and went, both teams have faltered slightly and are in the midst of battle for postseason positioning. After a tough loss a few days earlier at the hands of Haverford, the Lady Mules look to avoid dropping their second straight as they headed to Baltimore to take on Johns Hopkins on Saturday. Unfortunately, that was exactly the case as Muhlenberg shot just 20% from the floor and fell 67 to 43. On a high note, senior Alex Chile scored eight points and broke the school record for points by a mule player for both male and females with 1,792 points. The loss dropped the team to 14 and four on the year and nine and four in conference. Currently sitting at third in the conference, the Lady Mules look to rebound on Saturday against the team sitting directly ahead of them in second place, Franklin and Marshall. That game will be home at six o'clock. Following the women's loss, it was up to the men's team to keep Muhlenberg from getting swept at Johns Hopkins. Coming off a huge conference win against Haverford last Wednesday, the Mules were able to pick up their second straight victory as they knocked off the Blue Jays by a final score of 58-54. to Leading the charge was freshman point guard Malik Killing, who finished the game with 16 points and a steal. Also playing well for the Mules was center Kevin Hargrove, who after dropping 12 points and bringing in 7 rebounds, was named Muhlenberg's MVP of the game as part of the Johns Hopkins Wall O Mahoney Alumni Basketball Weekend. Now setting at fourth place in the conference and only one game back of third place, the Mules will face a big stretch as two of the next three teams they place are directly ahead of them in the conference standings. That's all I have for sports. Now to Adam with the weather. Thank you, DJ. 
And good evening, Mjolnberg. I'm Adam Dubov with NBC Weather, and let's see what the weather has this week. As you can see here, Thursday is going to be 46, going down all the way to 27 at night. That's going to be the low. Not going to be much different on Friday, because Friday the low is going to be 28. Uh, with the same average temperature up around, you know, mid 40s. It's a lot different than what we've had earlier this week. We've had a lot of temperatures in the high 50s. We've even had some temperatures up in the, uh, you know, mid 60s. Um, you know, not very customary for January, I'd say. However, uh, things are going to go back to normal because on Saturday, uh, continuing on with the week, there are going to be some clouds, mid 40s. Uh, same thing, mid to high 20s um, at night in the early wee hours of the morning. Moving on to Sunday, it's going to be low 40s, 40 degrees is going to be the high for that day. And then we're going to be looking at 25 degrees for a low. Moving on to Monday, Monday is going to have a high of 42 degrees. Again, another high of 42, low 25. So as you can see, uh, the temperatures are staying between, you know, 40s during the day, 20s during the night this week. Um, that includes Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be mostly sunny. There is, it is going to be in the mid-40s. And then continuing on to Wednesday, we are going to have some sun, and the temperature is going to be in the 40s. Hopefully, it'll be higher than that. Um, but that's the weather for this week. I'm Adam Dubov. Back to you guys. Thanks, Adam. That's all for this week's edition of NBC News. I'm DJ Carey. And I'm Amanda Wong. Have a great week, Muhlenberg.